We invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carol Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. Vasco left Italy to start his new life in America, he promised his mother that he would write and tell her about his adventures. So now, let's read Luigi's letter as he writes to Mama Vasco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, since my countryman Pasquale is bringing me over from Italy a year and a half ago, I'm learn to act like a real American. All day long, I'm a chew gum. <laughs> I'm a never see a movie without eating a popcorn. <laughs> and when I'm a buying newspaper, first thing I'm a reading is a Dick Tracy. <laughs> I'm even a getting used to the fast life for here. Yes, everything I hear is a fast. The speed, the speed, the speed. Even the things that they sell, they got a whiz. That's the name of a candy bar. <laughs> they got a Zoom. That's the name of a cereal. They got a Speed the Queen. That's the name of a washing machine. Only place where they're not so fast is in a saloon. <laughs> there they sell a slow gin. <laughs> but I'm very happy to be in America. Even though my countryman Pasquale is a never stop a reminding me that he's a bringing me over here. And he's a never stop a trying to make me marry his fat daughter Rosa. <laughs> Mamma mia, she's a fat. <laughs> when a Rosa is a step on a Toledo scale, Ohio must have an earthquake. <laughs> Lately, Pasquale is a try harder than ever to make me marry Rosa. He's a tell me if I marry her, he's a gonna make things lighter for me. <laughs> but I'm not like that. If I'm a marry his a fat daughter, he's a gonna be lighter for Pasquale and a heavier for me. <laughs> anyway, Pasquale is asking me to come into his spaghetti palace about the summer thing important. So I'm a walk in. Luigi, my friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, Pasquale. You want to see me about the something? Luigi, my little pumpkin head. <laughs> I got something very important I want to talk to you about. If I was to ask you if you want to marry Rosa, wouldn't your answer be no? Yes, sir. Yes! <laughs> Luigi, my son, I accept your proposal. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you changed your mind. Kiss me. No, please, please, Pascal. No, no, don't touch. I'm a no proposal and I'm a not the going to. Please, Luigi, marry Rosa. No. Just the once. <laughs> no, Pascal, she's a too fat for me. But Luigi, she's losing her weight. If you could see my little angel, how sweet that she's a look today, you would be crazy for her. Maybe I call her, you see for yourself, huh? No, please, please, Pasquale. Luigi, just to take a one look at her, do me this a favor. Well, all right. Good. Rosa! 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 They call me Papa! <laughs> yes, my little sparrow. Come here and say hello to Luigi. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Hello, Rosa. Mmm, <laughs> smells good. Luigi, don't a Rosa smell nice? Rosa, what have you been using? Your aftershave lotion. <laughs> Isn't she cute? <laughs> like a father, like a daughter. <laughs> well, Luigi, what do you think? Well, I'm going to think I'm a late for my night to school class. Okay. Goodbye. I wait, for Luigi. There's something very important i got to tell you. Save it to Pasquale. Right to now, I'm a too happy. But... Uh... I'm a free. I'm over 21 and I'm a single. What the joy... America, I love you. Uh, hello, Luigi. Hello, Mrs. Pellegrino. Congratulations, Luigi. 
Thank you, Mr. Pellegrino. Huh? Congratulations. You like a papa to me. Hello, Luigi. Hiya. Hello, Andresano. Congratulations, Luigi. I hope they're all boys or girls. Thanks. Boys or girls? Congratulations. Must be some mistake. Oh, well. From ocean to ocean, I give my little <laughs> All right, class, quiet. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Uh, present. Mr. Horowitz? Present. Mr. Olson? Present. Mr. Schultz? In the words of Abraham Lincoln, I cannot tell a lie. Present. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Schultz, George Washington said that. Miss Spalding, you are calling Lincoln a liar? <laughs> All right, Mr. Schultz. Now, before we begin our lesson, Mr. Basco, we would all like to congratulate you. Congratulations, Luigi. Congratulations. 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 What the for? Ah, Luigi, don't be so bashful. We all got the invitation. So you're finally getting married to Rosa. What the... Here Here comes comes the bride, all dressed in white. Here comes Luigi. Bit of shot from that (laughs) is... Wait, 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 everybody. What's the matter? What's the wedding? Or what's the invitation? Well, we all have the same invitations, Mr. Basco. Here, I'll read it. Mr. Pasquale has the honor to announce the marriage of his daughter, Rosa, to Mr. Luigi Basco. What the... Ceremony will take place at 23 North Hall, 33. Oh, stop, oh, wait. Wait, is it not true? I'm all mixed up. Of course you are all mixed up. <laughs> Nobody ever gets married unless he's a little for shimmer. No. <laughs> Oh, but uh, listen, listen, everybody. It's a mistake, I'm going to tell you. It's uh, all a mistake. Listen to him. Already he talks like a married man. <laughs> but uh, how is it not possible? I'm going to never propose it to Rosa. Luigi, what man proposes to what woman? <laughs> For one's own is right. Women are always proposing to the men. Everybody knows that. Except maybe songwriters. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Schultz, I take exception to that. But, uh, you ain't married yet. Now, everybody knows that women do the proposing. But they do it in such a sneaky way. <laughs> for, in, for three months, the girl takes the fella around to see her father and mother. She makes him play with the neighbor's babies. She cooks him fancy meals. Her father makes a down payment on the ring. Then she kicks him from the back so he falls on his knees. Then when he says, will you marry me, she says, this is so sudden. <laughs> People, you're not to listen to me. You don't understand. I'm a nut to get in a marriage. Oh, wait a minute. Don't back up, Luigi. Marriage is the right thing. It's not good for a man to live alone. No, it's right. not good. No. Luigi, are we going to get dressed up for your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Are we going to dance? Are we going to dance? No, 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 no. It's a nut to going to be. Miss Spalding, you please excuse me. I'm going to see Pasquale right now. Goodbye. Goodbye. Pasquale. Now, Luigi, take easy. Pasquale. Luigi, remember, I'm an old man and my blood's got a lot of pressure. <laughs> it's a very high. Impossible, Pasquale. You're the lowest thing that ever lived. That's the first time in my life I'm ever here a man who should have sent out the wedding invitations who without that the bride, the groom, should have known about it. Oh, so that's what's the bother with you. Luigi, I swear I wasn't going to send you an invitation. Who are, who are you? Luigi, are you? take your hands off... Pasquale, you call off for that the wedding. But uh, Luigi, I can't. The whole neighborhood is all about it. That's uh, because of your sentiment invitations. Everybody is a uh, congratulate me. Well, don't it feel good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, is it like all the fishes is congratulating a little sardine because uh, he's uh, going to be swallowed by the whale. <laughs> Look, Luigi, is it going to be such a beautiful wedding? Is it going to be food, a dance, and a music? A hundred people. Ninety-nine, I'm not going to be there. <laughs> all right, all right, don't get married. Then what's going to happen to all those wedding presents that's covered for you? What the wedding presents? Come into your store, I'll show you. Pasquale, 
How's it possible that people should have sent the presents so quick? You see, you little pumpkin head, everybody's a dyer to see you marry Rosa. <laughs> They're dying, and it's uh, my funeral. <laughs> Look at these presents. It must be at least a 25. Look at what you got. A clock, electric shaver, movie camera. Mamma mia, it's a lot of presents. That's right, to my son. And they all are yours. Pasquale, it's no use. I'm going to send all those presents back to the people who's sent them to me. What? That's right. If there's a Keystone movie camera, I'm going to send it back to Mr. Keystone. <laughs> Don't be stupid, Luigi. That's the name of the camera. Well, all right, then inside these boxes, there must be little cards telling who's to send these things. Uh, Luigi, I got bad news. Uh, somebody is accidentally burning up all of those little cards. You can send back these presents. Mamma mia, I'm stuck. Pasquale, I'm going to run away. You're going to... Uh, uh, something I'm never told you, Luigi. A law here says the aliens have got to get married a year and a half after they arrive, or they liable to get deported. Where? Where, Pascale? Where is it written as a law? Where is it written? Is it written in no place? That's what they call the unwritten law. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Uh, and another thing. Look, Luigi, if you don't marry Rosa, you violate in the United States the Constitution. Constitution? That's all right. Wedding invitations was printed in a union of printer shop. And if you stop this marriage, that's a violation of freedom of the press. <laughs> <laughs> Mamma mia. I'm against the written law of the Constitution, a violation of the press, and all these presents are here, and I'm, I'm a no no who to send them back to. Yes, think hard. How is it going to look for all of your friends if you don't show up for the marriage? Rosa is to say, I do. Is there nobody there to do, too? <laughs> Sooner the whole neighborhood is a talk of how Bosco is a break of girls' heart. Walter Winchell is to get a wind, and he's to say, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> What the fella is to walk around without the what the wife? <laughs> and for this, he's to get a one scallion. You're going to be the most unpopular fella in the whole United States. But Squally, uh... Voice of America broadcasters a snitch to Europe about you. <laughs> Churchill is a Televisinsky. Everybody's going to hate you. <laughs> You're going to be Luigi Bosco, man without a country. Well, are you going to get married? What do you say, my son? <laughs> All right, the papa. I <laughs> believe he continues in just a moment, but first, tomorrow night we'll bring you two truly great performances on CBS Lux Radio Theater when James Mason and Irene Dunn co-star in Anna and the King of Siam. Miss Dunn will recreate her original screen role of the British governess. CBS cordially invites you to hear these two great stars, James Mason and Irene Dunn in Anna and the King of Siam, tomorrow, Monday night, when most of these same CBS stations bring you the Lux Radio Theater. And now for the second act of Luigi Vasco's Adventures in Chicago, we turn to page two of his letter to his mother in Italy. And it's so, Mamma Mia, it's a Saturday night now. And in a half hour, your son, Luigi, is about to become your son-in-law. <laughs> yes, I'm getting married. I'm sorry I couldn't invite you to the wedding, but I didn't know about it to myself until two days ago. <laughs> anyway, Mamma Mia, I'm sitting in the back of my store now. In a tight to tuck a seat and a high hat that a Pasquale is a renter for me. And I'm a feel just like Uncle Pietro is a goat before he gets clipped. <laughs> All this time, I'm a begging a Pasquale to call off for the wedding. But even if I'm a convinced of him, would it still do me no good? Rosa is so happy. When she's a find out I'm a marry her, she's a rush over to me, open up her mouth and a kiss me. Mamma mia, for a minute I thought I was going to lose my head. <laughs> and yesterday, 
She's a sneak up behind me and a giving me a hug. Today I'm a breathing with the one along. <laughs> Mamma mia. If only there was a summer way out of this. Luigi, oh, you look wonderful. Me. You look beautiful there with the Luigi, you look very fine, beautiful, just like a high class of waiter. Just yeah, like a waiter, you look there. Thank you, Mr. Pellegrino. Yeah, Lu- Luigi, you should see Pasquale's store. Oh, that's all fixed up like a Christmas tree. Believe me, Luigi, my boy's bar mitzvah wasn't better than this. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Basco, may I offer you my congratulations? Thank you, Miss Spalding. Hey, Luigi, you know who's going to marry you? A real judge. A judge? What is this, a wedding or a traffic violation? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pasquale is spending a lot of money on this wedding. He even hired Ralphie Angelus to sing. Luigi, my fellow boob. Oh, look at you. In that tuxedo, you look good enough to be buried. <laughs> Now, ceremony is a start any minute. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, right. 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 Don't be nervous, please. All right, well, I go by my friends and I thank you for the presents. Presents? I didn't send you mine yet. No, I didn't no, send I didn't mine yet either. either. No presents. You want to send the presents? No. It must have been somebody else. Well, well goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. 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 Sure, so who's sending me all those presents? I don't know. But Luigi, she up. Smile. <laughs> but it ain't every day in your life you get married. Thank heaven. <laughs> sure, sir. Huh? You don't understand. I'm never one of this in marriage. Pasquale has sent out all the invitations without asking me. What? All of all, these are presents that come from somebody. I don't know who sent them, and I don't know who to send them back to. I was a hooked. Luigi, you wasn't hooked. You was harpoon. <laughs> Sure, so what am I can do? If the super chief was running through this store right now, who would I have advice for you? <laughs> but don't worry, Luigi. I'm going to think of something for you. But a sure says it too late. No, maybe not. I'm in the delicatessen business, and if anybody should know how to get you out of a pickle, that's me. <laughs> Mamma mia, there it is. Yeah, Luigi, that's for you. They are sounding taps. <laughs> Get ready to walk the last mile. Come on, Luigi. Hey, Schultz, stop uh, keeping him here. It's time for the bridegroom to make the entrance. Don't worry, Luigi. I think of something to stop the wedding. Come on, Schultz, so we go back to the store. Now, Luigi, you march here. They look good, my son. I'm going to try my best, Papa. Oh, Schultz, that's the happiest day of my life. <laughs> Look, the stones are beautiful, you know? No. What? <laughs> Look, Olsen. Here comes Luigi down the aisle. By jumping Yemeni, he looks like a ghost at a Halloween party. <laughs> Look, Olsen. Here comes Rosa. And look at her. She's crying and Luigi's dying. <laughs> but we can be alone and faith renewed. Oh, if you don't stop, we're going to have another Yonstown flood. Yeah. <laughs> and find the hollows where those flowers grow. Run for your lives, boys. The dam is busted. <laughs> And now, do you, Rosa, take uh, Luigi Basco as your lawful wedded husband to love, honor, and cherish him till death do you part? (laughs) I do. And now, do you, Luigi?
Luigi Basco, being of sane mind and sound body, <laughs> take this woman Rosa as your lawful wedded wife to love, honor, and cherish, to care for her in sickness and in health until death do you part. Huh? <laughs> Do you, Luigi Basco, being of sane mind and sound body, take this woman Rosa as your lawful wedded wife to love, honor, and protect her, to care for her in sickness and in health until death do you part? Answer yes or no. Judge, what's the punishment if I must say no? Ninety days. <laughs> Please, you you mind to repeat the question? <laughs> Do you, Luigi Basco, being of sane mind and sound body, take this woman Rose as your lawful wedded wife to love, honor, and protect her, to care for her in sickness and in health until death do you part? I do. Good. And now, before I pronounce you man and wife, if there is anyone here who knows why this couple should not be joined together in holy matrimony, speak now or forever after, hold your peace. Stop! Stop! <laughs> I got this poor little dumb cup for shimmers. <laughs> I got it 1,478 reasons why they shouldn't be married, and I'm going to give them all to you right now. Hey, listen, a delicate answer to matter. You can't give all these reasons to now. Oh, no? Well, sit down, everybody. You're about to hear a filibuster. <laughs> reason number one. Luigi has gone out with a lot of girls whose names I'm going to quote right now from the Chicago Telephone Directory. <laughs> Under the eighth, Autolite Company. He uh, <laughs> goes out with the secretary. <laughs> Ackerman Mary, 432 South Dearborn. Adler Babe, 302 Michigan. <laughs> ah, Under the assets. Quantum Chicken Company. Uh, Luigi went out with a chicken. <laughs> also, Schmidt Anna, Schmidt Alice, Schmidt Anita, Schmidt Anja. Schultz! Uh, so much for his girlfriends. Now I will go into reason number two why this marriage should not take place. To illustrate my point. I shall now quote you from the Yearbook of Agriculture, 1939, chapter entitled Nutritional Requirements in the Care and Feeding of Pigs. <laughs> <laughs> because the pig is a fast-growing animal. I judge. And the great majority This saloon of pig is a talk of four hours. Can we stop with this, man? Well, I, I, I've never heard of anything like this. It's entirely unprecedented. I, I really don't know what to do. Luigi, Luigi, I'm appealing to you. He's a, your friend. Tell him to stop. <laughs> All right, the Pasquale. Should sure, stop him. Well, you see, he don't want to stop it. Papi, can I take Luigi home now? Oh! Papi, I'm sorry, but I'm got to go home. One o'clock in the morning is enough for me to stay out. Oh, wait, the Mrs. Pellegrino. Miss Farley, I'm beating The air in here is stifling. Ah, look, in the sauna. Wait, eh? If they should ever get married, congratulations. Wait, don't go. Oh, what else can happen? Mr. Pasquale. Uh, yes, yes. About the rental of the tuxedos, uh, they're going into overtime. There'll be another six bucks and I'll take it now. All right. Here. And stop perspiring so much. It shrinks the collar. <laughs> Number one, hey, the poor. <laughs> Quoting from the World Almanac, United States Pension Statistics. Civil War, gold just on the earth. 229. Good night, Luigi. Good night, the Harowitz. Please, it does, it does. Judge. <laughs> Judge. That's the last guest to go. Now, what am I going to do? Mr. Pasquale, I, I, I wish I could help you out, but I've got to leave now. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, and I've got to be on the bench at 9. Goodbye. Hey, Mr. Pasquale, those tuxedos are going into overtime again. Stop for the clock. I'm giving them back. The wedding is off. Ooh. 
Oh. <laughs> right, then. Pasquale, is the offer? Russia, you hear? The whole thing is so confusing. <laughs> All right, Luigi. You know, Mara Rosa, I'll get you some other time, and now you give me back all of them a wedding presents. What the? That's all right. I was the one who sent them all to you. Oh, you did, huh? Well, nothing to do with Pasquale. You said I was a minor. You're taking them back is against the law. What the law? Oh, I said nothing written on the presents. It's unwritten the law. Goodbye, Papa. Hey, wait a minute, Come on, Michelle. Oh, I'm a free. I'm over 21. I'm a single. What a joy. Congratulations, Luigi. <laughs> America, I love you. You like a papa to me. And so, Mamma Mia, I'm not to get married. But what I was went through was enough for five years of a married life. <laughs> Schultz has turned out to be real life saver, even as sweeter than the candy. <laughs> Who would know that he would think of this a filibuster where he's a talker for 13 hours or without a stop? <laughs> then I'm going to find out that his uncle was a congressman. <laughs> He asked the Pasquale as he tried to play mean a trick on me, but I'm a getting a revenge now. Not only am I got all the presents, but I'm a sitting in my store with all of the doors locked. Pasquale is a bang on the doors, and you know why? I'm a still wearing that the hat and that tuxedo that's a costing him a two dollars an hour overtime. <laughs> Your loving son, Luigi, the little immigrant. Production and is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman and directed by Mac Benoff. J. Carol Nash has starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, and Mary Ship as Miss Balding. Music is under the direction of Lynn Murray. Have you had a date with my friend Irma recently? Ah, uh, then if you haven't, life has been too normal, too dull, too orderly. Irma is pretty, Irma is blonde. Irma is just dumb enough to make life interesting for her friends and for you. Only you'll get all the laughs while her friends get all the hot water. Be sure to make a date with her for tomorrow night, for no matter how dumb she is, she's enough fun to make her show one of the top ten on the air. You can make a date with my friend Irma over most of these same CBS stations every Monday night. And now stay tuned for It Pays to be Ignorant, which follows immediately over most of these stations. Bob Stevenson speaking. This is CBS, where 99 million people gather every week the Columbia Broadcasting System.